for a lot of you, it is a very mild morning. Uh, we've got that cold front that's going to be sliding across the state. So behind it, cold air moves in. Uh, temperatures this afternoon either drop or don't climb much higher than they are right now, at least across northern Utah. In the south, you get a bit of a warm-up uh, because you'll get some strong winds out of the south developing ahead of the front. But behind it, the winds will be out of the northwest this afternoon. And again, we're expecting uh, widespread precipitation to develop. Uh, so rain will be likely much of the day in Salt Lake City as well as much of the Wasatch Front. Uh, with some wind this morning out of the southwest, this afternoon it will be out of the northwest at about 10 to 20 miles per hour. So even though we're going to peak in the upper 40s, uh, it'll feel a little bit colder than that. On top of that, uh, there's a chance we could get some isolated thunderstorms uh, this afternoon in the unstable air mass we're going to get behind that cold front. And uh, that precipitation is going to become widespread, as I mentioned. We'll get a rain-snow mix in uh, some of the valleys, especially some of the uh, eastern valleys as well as over the higher terrain and up in the mountains. A uh, lot of snow. There could be 4 to 10 inches piling up in the northern and the central mountains, maybe close to a foot in the Cottonwoods and also uh, near Bryan Head. So if you're traveling over some of the higher passes today, keep that in mind. Uh, might have winter driving conditions to deal with. And the storm will slowly pull away tomorrow, but we'll still have a chance of some showers while it will become partly cloudy. You'll be in the mid-60s in St. George. And then by Wednesday, High pressure builds. It's not only going to be drying out, but temperature climbs like crazy heading into the weekend, all the way into the mid-90s in St. George on Friday and Saturday. So talk about going from one extreme to the other. And in the north, we're not going to get left out. Uh, we'll have a rain snow mix overnight in the valleys with little or no accumulation expected. Uh, and then tomorrow, partly cloudy with about a 30% chance of showers. Wednesday, it gets sunny, starts to warm up and temperature will keep climbing. In fact, it looks like we'll make it all the way up in the mid-80s by Saturday, which will make it the warmest weather that we've had so far this year.